Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. It's good to see you to yet another city-building survival game. This one, Stranded Sails. We've seen it before on the channel, and now I'm back for a new update, the Foundation Update, which allows you to customize homes a lot more inside after you build them. So, uh, just, uh, just so you know, we've had to restart. Uh, we played this a long time ago, and I've restarted now uh, from the beginning because there's a new update. I don't want to go inspect everybody's homes and see what might be new. I've been playing this for about an hour or so since I had to start from the beginning. But here's what's new. We can actually start decorating now. So let's see if we hold N. We can enter decoration mode. That's a weird key to press, but let's see exactly how it works. Oh, cool. So we, now we can build things inside uh, each person's hut, and I think that allows them to uh, get kind of like a higher reputation with us, which unlocks more stuff to build. So this is uh, Fiola's home, and she's our farmer, so we can actually build things like uh, single beds or a hammock for her, as well as other things I'm assuming that we can unlock over time by completing things. We can also give people gifts and have uh, different types of uh, relationships with them, so if you like games like Stardew Valley, this might be uh, for you. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to fall in love with these people, but it's more like a, the more they respect you, the more you get for completing tasks around the camp. So if you guys don't know about Stranded Sails, I played around with this game long ago and uh, did a couple episodes on finding all the other crew members from our shipwreck and then try to build a, a giant society on this island here. There's several islands in the game and we have to bring everyone together in in order to uh, basically try to bring them uh, some sort of comfort as we're stranded, hence stranded sails. Well, it looks like we don't know of any of the styles that she likes, but the more we learn about these people, we can see kind of how much they like. A little bit like Animal Crossing, we can see what their style is and try to accommodate their needs, and that's kind of cool. Looks like we've earned a new stew reward, that's good. Let's check out what else is new here, too. There's a whole new handbook, which is really helpful. A lot of new features that weren't uh, available in the other game, and I'm happy they're actually here. Not other game, but the other update. This update should be out, uh, as far as I know, today. So let's go ahead and stop decorating, then we'll hold N. There we go, and we'll go back outside. Oh, we're actually in a, a different house now. Oh, I see. We can go this way. So we can walk around in her house, and then if we press N, she comes in to basically advise us on what she wants to see built. So we have ourselves a little farm here, so we're growing food and such for our uh, little citizens of our island. And it looks like we need to go chat with Charles, which is our father, who is in the uh, shipwreck over here. And uh, there seems to be new stuff in the game to transport yourself around. There's like these little blue uh, things that you can find. Uh, that you can step on to go to other parts of the island. So you don't have to, like, go there via boat anymore once you find it. You can actually go uh, around by just teleporting, which is nice because this is one of those games that requires a lot of energy in order to do each little thing, such as, um, you know, uh, like brewing stuff or cutting down trees or whatever. <coughs> ah, my child. A message from Fritz. How wonderful. Let me see. From a quick look at your map, he seems to be stuck on one of the sandbars north of the camp. The water's too deep to get there by foot, but I think Sven has a solution. Pay him a visit, and he should be finished with his little project by now. Oh, and Raptor, before I forget, don't forget to click or tap subscribe and smash that like button if you're liking this video here today, and take this old telescope of mine. It'll be help you to find Fritz. Ah, cool. So we now have a telescope. Excellent. So there's been a few things that they've added in this most recent update, and probably the last couple of updates, so I'm liking it so far. Little areas to teleport yourself around the island. There's also the ability to... Um, I think dig now, there's like these little areas in the map that'll shine where you can find other items to give to people, such as gifts. I think actually if we take a look at our inventory here, uh, you can see that we've got all these components so we can build stuff. Here's the stuff that's required to go around the island, like these little shards that teleport you, like a power source. And then there's um, quest items, such as uh, all these for making a necklace, pearls there, artifacts too. And then, of course, little gifts. If you find out which each character likes, you can give them the gifts and they'll give you more stuff. Looks like Sven has a boat here for us. We already know what to do with that one. So we'll chat with Sven here and go find Fritz later. Now, we've done these things before. I think in our previous playthrough, we got a little further than this. But, uh, oh, look at all these quests here. I wish they would chill out with a few of these things. I'd like the telescope to use. Let's see how that works. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can literally look around. That's cool. So we can see Fiola's house up there, the farm, for example. That's helpful. That's really nice. So that way, if we step out of our house, we can actually see if the crops are done. That's kind of cool. Oh, looks like Fiola has a thank you gift for us, too. Let's go chat with her real quick. And as you can see up top, you'll see us burn through some of our energy here rather quickly. We also have axes in this game. And I think eventually we can get a pickaxe. We also have a shovel, like I mentioned, to dig up treasure. Let's go ahead and give a gift or get a gift from her. Uh, let's see. Approach Fiola to collect your thank you gift. She has some sort of a thank you gift. Hey, uh, that stew's pretty good. The shovel I gave you works, but 
It's a chore to use. I found an old one down at the beach, the one I used all the time back when I lived on my parents' farm. You can make way better use of it so you can have it. It's balanced a lot better and should make digging a little bit less of a task. Look at that, an upgraded shovel. Beautiful. Very cool. So I think we can dig... Oh, that's really good for farming then. So we can dig holes a lot faster because it's a better thing. All right, now I don't know exactly how to give characters gifts because, you know, it's like Fielda might appreciate the uh, the uh, little acorn here because she's a farmer. Maybe someone will appreciate the uh, stone a little bit better because they're a builder and then maybe somebody a coin because they might be a trader, that type of thing. So let's just go ahead and enter the rowboat and go find uh, Fritz somewhere in the north. And uh, I do like the new aspects to being able to decorate. I honestly wish I could build a house in the destroyed boat. Let me actually check and see if we can do that real quick. So right here, Charles is uh, wounded, the uh, captain of this ship, who's our father. I'm going to hold N to see if we can actually enter. Oh, I really would have liked to have done that. Oh, we can. We actually can. Cool. It brought it up. So I can decorate this uh, ship any way I like, too, which is really cool. I wonder if there's anything in these boxes. Nice. I'd love to have a hammock, like, right here. <laughs> and then maybe put a, a desk up top or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Looks like we might be able to do that. Or at least add decorations to stuff. But that's always cool in these types of games. You go around, gather stuff. Whether it's a top-down game or if it's first-person like Minecraft or um, Stardew Valley where it's like directly on top. Or even games like, uh, for example, um, Terraria. Those are always cool too. Alright, we know where Fritz is. We just need to stay, I think, in the shallow waters. Otherwise, our boat's going to get pushed around. And I believe he's, yeah, on one of these sandbars up in the upper corner. So let's just make a beeline to him. We'll go find him. We can always come back. In this game, you're supposed to basically jump out of the boat whenever you can and explore the islands. But I just want to go see if we can find Fritz first. And I think it will take a little bit of an energy to... I wonder if we can go faster. Nope, holding shift doesn't speed us up. All right, he's got to be around here somewhere. And there's one of those uh, panels right there. So yeah, we're going to avoid stopping at boxes. Oh, if I double right-click, he... Ah, oh, he rows faster. Interesting. And I believe Fritz is on this island. Is it Fitz or Fritz? I, I don't know. It's a name that fits, I'm sure. Let's try the... Uh, oh, right. We just need to select it. Let's see if he's on this island before we get off. How do we use this? We will need to press tab in order to equip it. No? Do we have to get out of the boat to do it? Oh, we have to left-click. I see. Wait, what is this here? Oh, we're marking areas. Ah, yes, that's right. We can mark areas if we want to go there. Okay, let's hop back in the boat. Okay, I think he's around here somewhere else. Maybe on this island here. X marks the spot, I guess, on wherever we mark things on the telescope. And, of course, his location may change based on where you go first. Last time we discovered him somewhere, somewhere up here. All right, I'll try to grab something to make it worthwhile. Oh, good, carrot seeds. Well, that was a good stop. And we'll need an axe in order to find this stuff. Nice. Nice. There's one more thing, a different type of item. Uh, all the items in this game are stored inside of boxes or crates. Some of them you can open, some of them you can smash open, and others you need to cut open with a sword as soon as we find that. Well, he wasn't on either of these islands, so let's keep looking. I can't quite remember where he is... Hello, little monkey. Oh, he wants to be fed. What a cute little monkey. He looks hungry. Maybe you can give him something to eat. Um, I don't know what he wants, but... We'll have to figure that out. I don't think he'd want a carrot. Monkeys probably want a banana or maybe a coconut. Certainly not a tomato, right? And here's what seems to be the little transport things. All right, let's head back to the boat. Actually, I wonder if we can see him from here. Let's try this. No, I can't really see much further than that. So the ability to decorate, the ability to farm, the ability to build buildings, the ability to cut down trees uh, and dig for things and also bring back iron ore and do smelting and advanced crafting is pretty cool in a game like this. Right now we're basically just gathering together scraps from our shipwreck. All right, so Fisherman Fritz, where are you, sir? I see his name in the upper right corner. Well, I don't see Fritz anywhere, so... Ah, leave me alone, you crazy beast. Oh, I thought you were a ghastly parrot. Holy mackerel, that's a huge island. I didn't even notice it. Good thing you got a rowboat. We can get it, use it to get there. Maybe the others have set up a small survival camp. Let's go. 
Uh, I wish I could uh, stay just to get the box, but let's return back to base. Ah, we're in luck. Someone has already set camp. And it looks like we found the others as well. They must be very glad to see us. Oh, and bad news. My beautiful fishing rod broke during our little accident. Could you take a look and see if you can fix it at the crafting station? Ah, good. So now we can repair stuff and build ourselves a simple fishing rod. Okay, let's go to uh, the thing over here. Uh, approach your boat's pier and interact with the jelly. Oh! Yeah, we can recall our boat. Yes, yeah, so we can get it back to the jelly. Let's do it. All right, but let's do some crafting here. Can we repair this fishing rod? Ah, oh, we can. And we have all the parts to do it. Beautiful. This game's really neat because it takes, uh, like, for example, steel components, wood components, strings, and all sorts of things, and then you craft it together here and kind of get it all fixed up. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's done. So let's go talk to Fritz now. And it looks like we've got ourselves some... Uh, crops here that need to be watered, but let's stay on task at the moment. Does he have fish in his beard? What is what is all that stuff? I think he has a fish stuck in his beard. That's great. Uh, what's up? Oh, it looks like you repaired my fishing rod. It's not as fancy as it once was, but it looks like it'll work just fine. I'm sure you want to keep it and use it, so let's make a deal. Help me build my shack, and I'll teach you how to fish. Here's the blueprint for the special part you'll need. Uh, rugged rope. Okay, so it looks like we need to find some more rugged rope. Uh, craft one rugged rope and two wooden planks. Okay, let's grab uh, the axe again. So in order to make planks, I believe we need three... Uh, we'll need three wood per plank. So each one of these trees gives us two. So we're going to need to cut down at least... Uh, well, to be honest, anytime you can cut down trees in this game, it's a good idea. So we'll try to cut down at least three, but we'll try to cut down any more if we find them. And I believe trees grow back too. I've cut down a few trees up here. But I think they have a tendency to grow back if you uh, haven't cut them all down. Ah, there's our good friend. Um, is this Jacob? Oh, we can give him a. We can give him a little gift if we want to. I can't quite remember all of their names. At this point, but I'll have to get to know the crew a little bit better. I guess it's my my first day. Oh, good. Let's activate this. I haven't come up here yet. Good. Excellent. Soon. Okay, a couple more trees to grab. There's another one here. Now, as for the rugged rope, I don't know exactly what's going to be needed for that. Hey, we found another seed, though. A chunky acorn. That was my uh, magician name in high school. Ooh, and a chest. What do we have here? Ah, some shiny booty. Excellent. That'll be needed for uh, adding decorations and stuff. The fact that they've added all that stuff makes it a little more customizable, which makes the game a little bit more... Um, it's more pleasing that way. I don't mind games like this. It is a survival game. You need to, uh, you know, you eat food in order to survive. And everybody's got their specialties, such as loggers and crafters and builders and farmers. And that all together goes really well. And uh, it's nice to see that there's also an island to explore. I never really got far in this game, but the fact that I'm playing it again means that there was something a little more interesting in the first playthrough that I wanted to come back and revisit in this second playthrough. We may not do a full episode, but I'm liking what I see so far. Here's the rugged rope. Ah, that requires a metal part. Good. And we will need two planks now. So let's get another one of those. I like the whole system here. This really feels like a Nintendo Switch game, but I am playing this on PC. It may be available on pretty much everything, but it is nice to play this. Let's go ahead and build uh, Fritz's shack, and then we'll come back and maintain the farm. I'm assuming Fritz probably wants to uh, have his house down somewhere on the... Uh, on the shore. Where exactly is he? Does it show us? Uh, yes, he's down there uh, next to the parrot. Let's go ahead and run. Now, anytime we eat that stew that's up in that kettle, it also replenishes our energy, so we can almost uh, go for multiple days without needing to sleep. Ah, here you are, Fritz. Let's see what you got. Let's chat with him first. Ah, we've got a deal. Help me build my shack, and I'll let you keep the fishing rod and show, how, show you how to use it, okay? We have all the necessary items. Let's go ahead and build with the two planks and one rugged rope. Now, I believe we can eventually upgrade these homes. That's what the whole decoration stuff is for, too. So these are just basic shelters, though they look quite advanced. Uh, thanks for completing it. My shack looks great. Now, for part of our deal, let me show you how to use the fishing rod. You see this ruffle spot in the water? Marks a spot in which you can get a fish. Ah, yes. So any sort of area in the water where there's, like, little uh, circles coming out, you can basically uh, get a fish through there. Now, I've done this before, so if you want to... Pause and read anything, feel free. Looks like we can also make a large bed for him. We just need to, uh, oh, it's a resort style. So there's many different styles for everybody. So you can tell what their style's like. 
So he might be more of a resort fisherman. Other people might be a little different. Looks like we need to go fishing again now. So let's see if we can go and get each one of those things here. So start fishing, wait for a fish to bite, and then pull the line. Uh, so we need to get a clam, a mackerel, and a blue fish, it seems. Use your fishing rod at roughed spots in the water. I don't know if it actually matters where you fish in order to get different types of fish. Maybe they, maybe it's random, or maybe it depends on the type of fish. Oh, you have to constantly left-click. That's where I went wrong. Okay. Oh, it actually takes a lot of our energy, but now we have our one fish, two fish. We caught a blue fish. That's good. We also have uh, many different uh, foods on us so we can eat while we're out in the field. That's another cool thing, too, is that you can actually craft food in this game and uh, use it to uh, basically replenish your energy. All right, we got our clam now. Well, that's nice. Didn't know a clam could put up such a fight. Let's have a little snack while we're here. Well, let's have ourselves... Uh, let's see, we uh, should have food on us. Let's see. Oh, it's a separate menu. There we go. Have ourselves a little meal. Be nice if you could just pull it out of the inventory. There we go. Restock that energy a bit. And let's throw the line out. Which should be right there. Okay, hopefully we get the final fish, which is the mackerel. Maybe the game will be forgiving and just give us one of each. And we have it. Holy mackerel. Excellent work. Okay. Looks like we can go chat with Fritz now. He'll be impressed. Ah, looks like you made a great catch. You've even found a really nice fat one. Wait a second. That poor fellow swallowed a, a bottle with a letter in it. Let me read it for you. Bonjour, Charles. I sincerely hope this message reads you in time. Teresa, Brenda, and I have been separated and am trapped in this awful island. I would prefer not to be the case for much longer. Could you pick me up? Much love, Cecile. Well, Cecile sure seems mad about her situation. Visit your father and tell him about the message. Oh, and I almost forgot to give you this. It has helped me survive on that lo a lonely sandbar. I'm sure you'll find a use for it, too. Uh, food capacity upgrade. Ah, very nice. So we can actually uh, store stuff in it? Okay. Cool. All right, let's go back and chat with our dad about his uh, infidelities with the ladies. Actually, I think it's one of those games where uh, mom's been long gone for whichever reason, and now... Dad's just trying to get along. Let's see here. Ah, my child, I heard the news already. Thank you for rescuing Fitz. Have you found the message from Cecile? That's fantastic. Uh, I'm still too a week to leave the bed. You need to rescue Teresa, Brenda, and Cecile and take care of my crew and my steed. Uh, to find the others, you'll need to explore the archipelago. Three islands to the west, south seem like a good place to look for them. Avoid the island in the northeast. It seems to be surrounded by a mysterious storm. Remember to always prepare for your travels and bring enough food. Oh yeah, I can always for prepare for that. So now the game really begins. This is our main objective, to bring the crew together and then to uh, start giving them everything they need in order to, um, you know, start maximizing their potential. Each one of these uh, three ladies has their own specialty. So there's a tailor, a chef, and a blacksmith. So uh, Teresa, Cecile, and Brenda uh, should do a good job of helping us out with whatever we need to do. Oh, looks like there's a little stew left. The crew's been eating that. Nice. And let's see if we can uh, water our plants, too, while we're about gone. You'd think Fiona would help out since she's the farmer. But let's water our plants now. Be nice, though, in this game. I must say, I wish I could uh, do something like, uh, for example, building homes wherever I wanted for the crew. Pretty much all up here would be a nice place to build. We have a very small farm at the start, but it's all nice. Okay, I think we've watered everything, so let's go... Let's see, it's almost nighttime, I believe. So let's go ahead and uh, head back and take a nap. And then we'll head out. So we got lots of new things to learn about relationships. Collectibles are now in the game. There's added uh, special items and stuff that can be uh, sought after. And then, of course, you can bring those to the people. Ah, it looks like those are the three remaining. So once we find those three other ladies, that's our full crew. And then, of course, we have uh, quest items, artifacts, and gifts now. So these are kind of cool. And we've unlocked a lot of that stuff. Let's sleep till daytime now. And as Father says, we should probably uh, wrap some food before we go. So we'll spend this remainder of the night. Or morning. Creating food. Good morning. 
There we are. All right, we're going to head up top and see if we can make some uh, goodies before we go. It is important to find out what uh, cooking items we have. I've also explored a lot of the island in the north. Uh, up here, for example, you can see all the areas that I've been to and where we were uh, rowboating earlier. And uh, there's a cave up there, too, that I believe might lead out somewhere on the other side and could have more items up there, too. So really fun to explore in this game and collect stuff. I really do like it. Oh, we have lots of corn. And, oh, looks like everything's ready. Okay, I think this is a potato. Looks like we need to shovel that out in order to harvest it. Maybe? Oh, well, looks like... Oh, potato seeds. Was that not done growing? Usually you can harvest stuff with your hands. Maybe it's not finished. It certainly looked like it was. That's fine, we can replant it then. I get a chance to show everyone planting. Boom. There we go. We'll have to water that again, but... It looks like none of the food is ready. I was hoping for something. Although the corn looks ready to go, actually. Let's see here. I'll switch back to our bare hands. Ah, the corn can be harvested. I guess the potato, the tomato, and the uh, onions will need an extra day, which is totally fine. But luckily I found other seeds, and we'll water all that stuff later. Okay, let's make some uh, recipes here. Looks like we can experiment with recipes. But right now, let's make one of these. And we can always adjust the ingredients if we want to. Looks like we have recipes to discover for the fish. So that might be kind of cool. Let's see here if we can make a some sort of a fishy meal or something. Let's go ahead and leave this menu. Uh, is it getting stuck? Uh-oh. Level 2 foods. I can't select anything else at the moment. Let's close that for a moment. Well, I want to leave the menu now so I can try to... There's a way to uh, discover new items, new ingredients, and it doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. Essentially, what we can do is take, like, a blue fish and corn there and make, like, uh, I don't know, some sort of a uh, fish chowder or something like that. Kind of neat. I like how the... Uh, by the way, it's a crab here that has a knife and a, and, a, and a fork ready to eat. I love that. Really cool. Okay, let's see if we can fix this. All right, we got most of what we need then, so let's head towards uh, one of the islands in the north. So you use the rowboat to reach and explore the three islands in the south and west. I guess we'll go uh, west this time. And actually, if we take a look at the... Is there a way to see the overview? Yeah, okay, so this must be the island with the storm here. So they want us to go, like, here. And this was the starting island, so it's basically these three where we'll find... Uh, the three of our lovely ladies. So let's go to the west one first and see what's over here. So we've gone through all this uh, again and again, but if I'm going to play through this game uh, in a full playthrough, I have to start over with the uh, you know recent update and whatnot. So again, if you guys want to see a full playthrough of this game, make sure you smash like, and if we get enough, I uh, would love to keep on playing or do it on a live stream. The beginning of the game is a little tedious. You know, you kind of have to go through the whole standard tutorial stuff every uh, now and again, but it's kind of nice to... Uh, return and, uh, uh-oh. I thought we were going to tip over there for a second. Oh, what? The seagull's booty. Oh, is he... Is he pointing towards something? Where, new handbook. Okay. Oh, there must be new stuff for us to learn about. We'll go check that out in a minute. What are you... Oh, is he guiding us towards, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is a way to... Oh! I see. So we can find stuff in the ocean from the seagull, if we can get to it before he does, that kind of thing, cool. Alright, well, we're back on another island again. I do like this a lot about this game, going going from island to island. The transit is nice, not too long, and it's pretty every time. Alright, where are we heading to? Maybe up here? Let's see if there's something marked on the, on the map. Ah, let me just go down this way. Okay. I like the music too. Very nice, charming, and welcoming. Looks like this island is a giant beach. Oh, I remember coming here before. Although I don't remember who we may have found, if anybody. Oh, nice. Another clam. 
Or I guess a pearl. And let's see what's here for supplies. Big O eggplant, nice. And some more metal scraps, cool. I wonder who's on this island. Uh, we won't be able to get that bag without a different weapon. Let's let's see who, if we can find who's here. Oh, lizard. Alright, let's go activate these. I think those are teleportation points that we can activate and use somehow. Looks like we got to cut through this stuff. Wow, that takes a while to cut through that. Ah, there's somebody. Hello, ma'am. Hope this is the blacksmith. <coughs> and it is Teresa. Hello, my dear. I'm so happy to see you. Nice of you to search for me. You look jaunty. A real adventure like your father. Please, can you tell me how we ended up on these tropical islands? It's so warm under the hot sun, I dress for a way colder climate. Uh, have you found each other and set up a camp on another island? Great to hear. The others are in good health. I miss the crew so much, I don't like being isolated for an old lady like myself. Let's go back to the camp. Okay, let's uh, return. Alright, so that is our tailor. Cool. Uh, can we build her a house now? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So great to see you again. Uh, let's see. The stew that you made looks delicious. Can't wait to try it. Okay. I guess we have to find the other uh, two ladies. What does the parrot have for us? Oh, looks like nothing. Okay. So, we basically just repeat the same step two more times in the south, and then we can return to these islands later in order to find out what they've got for items. And, of course, each island will probably have different crops, different materials, different um, specialties. Like, for example, one might be a... I think the one we were just at was like a mine and a fishing town. Another island might be abandoned, so we can find some really rare fruits and crops. And then another one might be um, a little different from the other one, where it might have more stuff to discover. I think one of these islands actually has um, trees growing up in the water, like uh, what do they call those? Something groves? Mar margrove trees or something? No, I don't remember what they're called exactly. But they're trees that have long roots that pop it up out of the ground. And they're really beautiful. Let's go check that out. I wonder if we can fish from the boat too. Let's see if that's possible. We might be able to fish from the boat. Oh yeah, it looks like we can. We just need to find an area to actually do the fishing. But that's kind of cool. Alright, let's speed up. Oh yeah, so if we right-click a few times, we can go a lot faster. So that seagull is probably aiming towards some booty. And if we go a lot faster, we can beat the seagull to the, uh, to the actual booty. Okay, so we probably want to go to the west now, so let's go this way. It'll be kind of cool if we could build stuff on these other islands. Alright, boom. Now this might be the island with the trees here, I think. On this one, so we're on an opposite island. Okay, let's see if we can find the third person. It is nice, though, that when we find the other... Uh, members of the crew that allows us to uh, go right back to the starting point. I wish we could just fast travel without any of those uh, shards or anything like that. To be able to fast travel at any time would be nice. Oh, chest here. Ah, oh, pumpkin seeds. Nice. Just before Halloween, I guess. Ah, oh, we can double right click in order to run fast too. I used to just hold shift. That's nice. Okay, there's got to be somebody else on this island. They must be up here somewhere. If we find the person, uh, we will go back to camp, but we can always return to the island. So it might be a good idea just to run around quickly. And we brought extra food for the... Ooh, hello, monkey. What do you have there? I'm kind of curious to see what he might have. Hold on. Looks like there's a few monkeys on this island. These were not here before, so they must have added these. Uh, there was a monkey on the other island, too. Oh, maybe the monkey will... Maybe we can chase him forever unless we set up some sort of a trap. 
I'm not sure. Let's check this chest, though. This looks kind of valuable. Oh, nice. A coin. Okay, we're getting a little low on energy. Luckily, that helped us to cover most of the island. There must be somebody on this island somewhere. We'll come back for you, monkey. Ooh. Looks like somebody may have made a path up here. And we have ourselves a little jungle. Beautiful little coastline, too. Ah, we found our cook. Chef Cecile. Yeah. Hello, you look very upset. Whoa, do you look mad. It's nice to see someone got my message. Your name Karen? What even is this place? Okay. Let's get back to camp. She looks really mad. Does not does she not look mad? She looks f beyond furious. Good thing we found her. Oh, well, now she looks a lot happier. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see our relationship with her. Is she just, like, super mad? Oh, now she's happy again. We're acquainted, I guess. Okay, that's nice. Alright, one more person to find, then. So that means one more island down here. I wonder what it says about this island. Ooh, that looks scary. Tons of shipwrecks. Okay. Neat. So one more island to go to, but we can explore all three islands, including the two sections of our main island. And uh, this is kind of like an island of its own that just happened to be attached to this island. So it's like one, two, three, four other areas to go, plus our area with the camp. And then the final island there. Maybe there's another island here in the southeast. Um, or maybe even more stuff off the map. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go see if we can craft a new item. Lots of new fresh stuff in this game, though. The ability to... Uh, I, w I wonder if we can decorate outside. That'd be kind of nice to do outside as well. Let's see if we can make a bed or something real quick. We might have some extra goodies. Uh, we should be able to make some more wooden planks. Looks like we have hardwood fragments. So let's see if we can cut down a tree or something real quick. Let me uh, eat some food. Let's see what we got here. And I want to see if we can teleport and use one of these shards to go to the dense forest nearby. Let's actually snack a little bit more. Alright, let's see if we can teleport to the north where the dense forest is. Is there not a way to use this? Let's see if we can switch back to our hands. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's go to the dense forest. Now, going back to the camp is always free, so we can teleport from here anytime. So that's a nice new feature that they added. No more do we have to go across there. Also, there's little blue balls of fire that we need to put in there, too, but uh, that's another quest for another day. Simple wood, good. Let's try to make something, and we'll go find the... Whoa, the blacksmith. Okay, I didn't know we got more than two from each tree. That's nice. I guess that's why the dense forest is uh, here, is to provide a few more wood and goodies. Let's see what else is in the box. And one more tree and we'll head back. Okay, that should be enough. Actually, there's a box here. Let's check that, too. Looks like the monkeys on the islands goof around with multiple different chases. Okay, let's head back to camp. Okay, so now let's head inside of somebody's house. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, it looks like their house is starting to develop. She's actually added a few more things. So the further we get into the quest, it's like they decorate the outside of the house. Meanwhile, we can do the inside. So let's just make a simple bed here. And how do we rotate? Oh yeah, ni nice, just like that. Let's put the bed here. And then we might be able to put something underneath, like a shelf or something. Let's see, what do we have here? Modern styles. More decorations. Well, we gotta unlock things as we go along, but at least we've got that. So let's end the decoration, and there we go. Kind of nice. Very basic, a little bit more to do, but at least we can sleep here in uh, Fiona's house and anybody else's house that we want instead of the old shipwreck all the time. Though it is nice to have a bed. All right, guys, that is it for the update for Stranded Sales. There's much more new than what I've uh, seen here. And the game is starting to get some pretty good ratings now that the uh, game is kind of more released and that they've done some updates and listened to the community on what they wanted to see. 
So that's going to be it for now. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for joining me. If you want to see more farming, fishing, survival, home building, and whatnot, make sure you smash that like button. Welcome again to all the new subs. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.